so, so this is going to be kind of a not makeup video. It's just going to be, I'm, I'm really, okay. I'm in Kansas City right now and I'm here for work and I don't have anything to do. I'm actually off in the evening and I'm really bored of my hotel. I've already been, I've been shopping today and I got some good stuff, but like I'm just sitting here and it's really boring. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a facial mask. I don't know. Can y'all, you just love how cute my hair is. Yeah. Okay. So <coughs> I have to get off my bed. Um, probably turn on the lights. Mm -mm. Okay. Dear God, it's right here. You can see how red my face is. I was trying on um, some concealer today, so um, that's what I have on right now. But obviously, it's supposed to make my face look a little weird. You can see my towel in the background. Um, so, yeah, I think I'll just kind of take off this. How am I going to do this? <coughs> oh, yeah. I've been coughing like all day. So, it's been super fun. Where is all my shit? All right, let me tell you, okay, so I'm here for like 10 days and uh, let me tell you, I brought everything with me. I brought my mason jar full of all my freaking cotton pads um, so I can feel like I'm at home. not like it's so cute on this cotton pad but we're gonna like look we're gonna cleanse it up um so I think I'm gonna use this I got this I think in an ipsy a while ago um it kind of burns a little bit but like <clears throat> you know we're just gonna kind of roll with it it's like a little clay mask Thing. I don't know why it burns, but it like it tells you like on the back. It's like this is gonna burn a little bit. So mm. I mean, it smells good. So let's do that. Oh my god! There's the burn. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! It's really burning around my nose. Oh my god. Okay, got it. Oh, oh my god. It burns so bad. Oh. oh. Beauty is pain. Beauty is pain. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna stop my video and um, cause my phone's like resting on my faucet right now. So I'm gonna stop video and like restart it again in a minute. And we'll kind of continue this thing that we're doing. I, I set my timer for 15 minutes to let this mask sit on my face, but. Um, okay, so first question is, are you a morning person or are you a night person? Um, I'm a morning person. At least I like to think that I am, but um, I stay up really late a lot of times. I mean, right now it's almost 11 o'clock, which isn't really like too late, but um, sometimes I can't go to sleep till like two or three in the morning. Um, but then I'll like, I'll wake up in the morning and I'm like, okay, let's do this. Like, I don't know, I'm a pretty positive person, so. Okay, next question. Do you prefer uh, sweet or salty foods? Well, considering I just ate a bag I just ate an entire bag. Well, not like all in one sitting, but like those are my favorite. I get them every year. I can only find them at Target. The white peppermint, white chocolate, M&Ms from, I can't. They're amazing. I love them. So I'm going to say sweet. Um, are you a collector of anything? Yeah, actually I am. I collect vintage, vintage mason jars. Uh, I don't really know why, 
what I do. And um, I just think they're really cool and I think they're really pretty and I think the oldest one I have is probably from 1928. What is usually your first thought when you wake up? Oh my God, what time is it? Did I miss my alarm? That is literally my thought every single morning. I don't know if I overslept, but I, honestly, I don't think I've ever overslept ever, but like, that's my thought when I wake up. Um, what's your favorite color? Well, um, if you know me at all, my favorite color in the world right now is, um, this, you know, it's like the light blue color that's like freaking everywhere. And you know what? I'm not mad that it is everywhere right now. I have like literally everything that color. I have shoes, I have clothes, um, I have hats. Um, my Arctic cup is that color. Um, what is your favorite animal? Um, my favorite animal is an elephant. I went to Thailand uh, two years ago and I literally went just to see elephants. Like, <laughs> I, I love them so much and I had like the time of my life. So if you like elephants, I really suggest going to Thailand. Um, that was really cool. Do I believe in ghosts? Yes. Yes, I do. And I'll tell you why. Because I actually used to live with one back when I lived in California. Oh, which, okay, let me say. I currently live in Texas. I used to live in California. Like, I went to high school there. And I'm currently staying in Kansas City for work right now. But, um, so back when I lived in California, the house that we lived in had a ghost. Like, there was no question about it because I specifically remember like this one thing that happened. I mean, I heard it several times. Like I heard it basically every day, but this one particular time. So we were all, my whole family, which was like my uh, two sisters, my mom and my mom's boyfriend at the time, were all sitting down at the dining room table and, um, and we lived in a two story house. Now we also had like two cats and my dog, Penny, we were all downstairs, like we made eye contact with like all of our pets, so like we knew all of them were there. And you know, obviously we were all sitting at the table and you could literally hear it walking across the floor upstairs. Like, I'm not kidding. That is literally what happened. Everyone else heard it, it was not just me. So yes, I believe in ghosts. I haven't had any negative things happen, so I don't wanna say that like I believe in like demons or anything like that. I just think that there's like something there sometimes. I don't know. That's the best I can explain it without sounding any more weird than I already sound. Um, do you have any tattoos or piercings? Yes, I have two tattoos. Um, I have one right here, which I don't want to take my, my cardigan off, but I have one. It's a Friday the 13th tattoo. It's a sugar skull. It's really small. It's like, it's tiny. Um, and then I have another one on my back. I got it when I was like 19 and it says don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle because I mean, come on. Uh, that's just kind of how I live my life based on that quote. And I feel like even though I got it six years ago, I still kind of live my life in that sense. But, and then piercings. I mean, I just have my regular like one on each side, but then I also have, oh, it looks kind of weird right now. Um, I have a, I think what they call it, a triple helix. Um, I don't know. I got, I saw it on Pinterest. <laughs> to be honest with you, I saw it on Pinterest, like, how long has it been? Four years ago? Three years ago? Something like that. And, um, I just liked it, so I got it. And I get compliments on it all the time. And honestly, I haven't seen any, like, I haven't met anybody else that also has this piercing. So, I feel like a little special, but that's cool. What is your favorite song of the moment? Um, my favorite song right now is um, by a band called Paris, which is like a kind of like rock band, but it's like the lead singer is a girl. And I don't know why a lot of people like aren't into that, but whatever. Love them as a band, their show was amazing, but this one particular song, I don't know, it's just like resonating with my life right now. And it's called Same Soul. And I don't know, it's just like, the, the chorus is like, I'm just somebody that you used to love, I'm just somebody that you used to know, like, I don't know. I just like, feel like I'm changing so much as a person 
and the people that used to love me or whatever, like that used to be in relationships with, like they don't really know me who I am now. So yeah. What would be your dream job to be continued? I don't know because I'm figuring out my life right now. Favorite thing to do on a Saturday night? Okay. I'm sure a lot of you will be surprised to hear that I'm actually quite the introvert. Even though I have a really outgoing personality, a lot of people would think that, um, well, what makes you an introvert versus an extrovert is basically where you get your energy. So if um, you gain energy from being alone and like not dealing with anything, that would make you an introvert. And then if you get energy from like being surrounded by people and everything, going to parties, going out, that would make you an extrovert. So I'm an introvert. I really like my alone time. I value my alone time. And I don't think I really realized this until I got divorced, honestly. Yeah, I wanna say um, when I got divorced, I re realized <laughs> how much I valued my alone time. Um, but, uh, so, even though I'm not going, I'm an introvert. So on Saturday nights, I love just sitting at home with my dog and like watching Sex in the City or watching Netflix, whatever. I, I don't know. So doing nothing. Maybe drinking like some wine. I don't know. Um, oh, I guess I should kind of touch on the fact that I just said I got divorced. Okay. So. Um, I am 25 right now and I got divorced four years ago. So was, this would be really weird if my ex ends up watching this. So sorry, but not sorry. This is kind of the truth. This is what happened, but I don't want to get too into too much detail just because it's still kind of private. But, um, basically I got married when I was 19 and, um, we kind of got married in secret, I guess you could say. And, um, he was in the military, but we had known each other for like eight years prior. But yeah, so we got married in secret because his family wanted us to wait to get married until after he got back from his deployment. And we were like, fuck that. Um, basically, cause we had been, um, we were engaged and then we were trying to plan on getting married and then. We were going to get married within a year of being engaged because that's that's normal right and so um when they told us that i was like um yeah so i kind of don't want to be far away from you for very long because he was living in kansas which is ironically where i am right now um and i was in texas so we didn't want to be apart so we got married so i could live with him because i don't know if anyone's familiar with things in the military you can't live with them um, unless you're married. So that's kind of why that happened. Um, I don't really want to get too much into why we ended up splitting up, but we were only married for two years. Um, we got divorced. I moved back to Texas. Okay. So even though I was just in the middle of the story, my timer just went off. So I need to go wash off my face and I guess I'll be right back and we'll kind of like conclude this video because I don't want it to be hella long. Okay, so I'm back. I washed my face off and moisturize it and it just feels so nice. You know, when like you wash your, um, you have a mask on and then you take it off and you're just like, yes, that's me right now. Um, but anyway, I don't know. I don't want to get too much into it about that part of my life because I mean, it was so long ago. I mean, it was not it wasn't that long. It was four years ago. I've had like one serious boyfriend since then. Uh, that obviously didn't work out. One, this was one I kind of want to answer. Um, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live in the world? Okay. I think I want to narrow it down to, since I live in the U S let's narrow it down to the U S I feel like I would want to live on the East Coast in like one of the Carolinas. I feel like that's where I would want to live because um, I have lived in Washington State, California, Texas, and Kansas. So they're all kind of like all over the U.S. And I feel like the only place I haven't like been on yet 
that I've lived, I mean, I've traveled to um, the East Coast, but yeah, I feel like I would want to live there at least for like a year or something. I don't know. Yeah. Um, are you mostly a clean or messy person? All right, well, let's just talk about my current living situation. Being in a hotel right now, I am messy in here. And I think my mom would say that I'm probably messy in general. But when I am like super in my element in my place, it's clean. It's clean. They're spotless. Everything has like a place. But no, like let me show you where I'm living out of my freaking suitcase. It's driving me insane. But, um, sorry, you're like propped on my laptop right now. But, um, yeah, so bo I'm both. Let's just say that. Uh, do you have any bad habits? Okay, so I guess we'll kind of end on this weird note. Do I have any bad habits? Um, well, let me say I used to bite my nails. I stopped doing that. Um, maybe one of um, a bad habit that I have right now is itching. I, but I think that's kind of also with me dealing um, with the fact that uh, about a few months ago, I went to the doctor and I had some blood work done and trust me, I haven't really done too much with the doctor on this, but, um, when I was at the doctor, they told me that I had a weak positive celiac and the reason I went to even the doctor in the first place was because I was having problems itching, especially my legs, my legs itch so bad. Um, so... I think a lot of my habit with itching at this point is because, see, here I go, I'm itching my head. Um, I think it's because of that, but I don't, let's just say my bad habit is itching. Yeah. Okay. That's how I'm going to end this. But um, I do want to say uh, who whose video I watched the other day, I don't think she originated this but um because i just watched her video like yesterday but um emily price i watched her um get to know me video yesterday and i was like oh that's cute i think i'll do something like that and i just was trying to think of a time when i would do that and i'm just kind of sitting on my bed here and was like sure i guess i can do that right now so um but anyway uh now i guess i'm just gonna kind of go to sleep Anyway, um, sorry this isn't like my usual like makeup video y'all but um, but yeah I just if you want to know about me there you go <laughs> all right y'all I'll see you later bye